I might be able to take him on. I might be able to. Oh, there's a rush behind him. There's a. All right, let's just be careful. Try not to break our leg. Oh! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today we're playing the aisle, and I'm a Therizinosaurus, y'all. Now, like yesterday, I was playing right and. In global chat, someone was saying, uh, TH if you want to be a fairy, right? And since a fairy is, well, not a playable monster, I mean, uh, the dinosaur, unless you buy it, of course I accepted the offer. No one else was accepting it, you know, so I, I accepted it. Because this guy, uh, unlike other dinosaurs, you can't play as it unless you either get nested in or you buy it I, I don't know how to buy it I think uh, like the discord has currency and all that like certain dino bucks you know dino dollars now I don't want to die because that's a suko okay now I don't want to die because well I wouldn't be able to play this as this thing again unless of course I get nested in cuz I'm not gonna pay any type of currency to become a dinosaur guys that's not logical <laughs> but yeah I'm just gonna try to live as much as I can for some reason I can't sniff okay fine let's head over there the theory is surprisingly fast like as a full-grown adult these things are faster than ceratosauruses but their stem is very very bad and I think the theory build it's like a glass cannon type of thing, you know? Like, I do a lot of damage, but I, um, I don't have that much health. Like, we got a right-click move and then a left-click move, which is three swipes. That does a lot of damage. Oh, look, there's a little lake. Right, let's keep an eye out. Keep an eye out for anything. Anything suspicious. Uh, that's all the water we need. Now, I can't sniff, which is a big problem. Just because it's like a really, like, necessary mechanic. Because if I leave this place, chances of me walking into water are... Unlikely. I thought I heard footsteps. Now, chances of me walking into another water source are unlikely. <laughs> Uh, let's get out of here. I don't like being here. This is shady shady activity. I Would go to a party uh, field, but you see I'm not a fully grown adult and Fairies are just very easy to kill In fact, all you really need is like a little bit of skill and a Utah Raptor. That's all you need Cuz it's like my hitbox is huge. Well, you see that huge fluffy tail? Yeah. My hitbox is all the way back there. So you, you could imagine how easy it would be to terrorize this thing. Uh, we, we can't go that way. We have to go this way. Ah, uh, shoot. I might, I might meet up with the mix pack. If they're, if they're walking, if they're going somewhere, I might accidentally encounter them. And if I do, I think... That's gonna be the death of me. Ah, uh, it's two of them. It has to be two cameras, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, I want to go to them, but chances of them like killing me are very high. My goodness, bro. The thunder in this game. It loves to troll. Uh, let's just be careful. Try not to break our leg. Um. Oh shoot. Oh wait, there's subs. I could take them on. I could take them on. There's subs. Look at them. Yeah, look at them running. Oh shoot. Chances of them having a parent are pretty high. So I'm actually gonna. Keep my distance. 
Oh my goodness, I just went through like five stages of grief. Um, let's just run. Yeah, let's run. If they're not in ambush, they can't keep up. Yeah, they don't want to smoke. They don't want the big fluffy turkey bird smoke. Yeah, exactly. That's why they're hiding and I'm not. I'm in the open. Anything could get me. See the confidence? Nah, they don't have confidence. You see, if they had skill, they could probably take me on. Not without injury, though. Yeah, look at this. Look at the, the confidence in this turkey. The confidence is crazy. Yo, I love how I just walked into them. I thought I thought there were two aloes. Yo, if there were two aloes, I might have been dead. I might have been dead. You don't need too much skill to like tail ride a giant turkey. It's like I'm weak, but I'm not that weak. Like, like I said before, it's a glass cannon type of build. I just need to make sure nothing following me, and nothing sneaks up on me. And we're pretty much good. I have a feeling, a really bad feeling, that something bad's about to happen. There's gonna be something around this corner, watch, and it's gonna one-shot me. Oh my gosh. Of course, a fully grown Rex. My favorite. I could outrun it, but I'm not sure if I can at this state. Like, given my growth, I'm not fully grown. So I, I probably can't outrun a, a full grown Rex. Or maybe, just maybe. Like maybe, I'm like the same speed at it as it. And if I am, then I'm kind of screwed because a Rex could outrun me. Like it can't outrun me, but it can outstand me. Has more stamina. My stamina's so bad. Like it's not bad bad, but it's really bad. Ah, great. You know what? I need the content anyways. Chances of y'all even watching this is pretty low, so... It don't even matter if I die right now, right? Oh, my! I might accidentally be heading into party field. Because the amount of commotion I hear very, very loud. The one thing I don't like about herbivores that carno that carnivores have is that if you kill somebody as a herbivore, you don't have protection. You see, as a carnivore, if you kill something, that is your body. Like, that's your food source. You see, if something has to contest for the food, they can't just kill you. So you literally have protection, you can't die in that state. But as a herbivore, you can get chased down. And that's why most herbivores are in herds. Strength in numbers. Because by ourselves, herbivores do not stand a chance. They do, but realistically, all you need is like two T-Rexes. And oh my gosh! Oh my goodness, that's a giga. That's a giga. That's a giga. And there's Delos. Oh no. Oh no. He's gonna He's gonna walk me down! Yo 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 come chill out, 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 chill out. Chill out, chill out, chill out. Wait, he's gonna get over here and he might be out of stamp. He might be out of stamp. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. He's gonna be out of stamp. And I'm faster than him, I think. I might be able to take him on. I might be able to. Oh, there's a Rex behind him! There's a Rex behind him! Run! 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 There's a Rex behind him. Run! Get away from the water. Get away from the water. Get away from the water. Run! Go, 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 go! Oh, I'm so slow. Oh, I'm so slow. I mean, I'm probably faster than him, but I'm still really slow. Go! Book it, bro. Book it. Go, please, turkey, run. Run! 
Even if I do run, he can still outwalk me. Oh my gosh. Why me? I knew walking down that river would be a bad idea. He's back there. Look at him. Oh, wait. Oh, yes. I think the sub rex might have bit him. The sub rex might have bit him. They might be fighting. They might be fighting. We're good. We're good. We're good. That takes the giga off my hands. Yeah, they're fighting, I think. Woo! Oh, thank the Lord. They're fighting. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Hopefully, the giga isn't starving. Because if he is, here's what's going to happen. He's going to kill that Rex, right? He's going to eat it all, and then he's just going to come chasing me. Because if you didn't know, those things got huge stomachs. Huge appetites. Bro, why a giga? Out of all the things, because you see, I'm pretty sure I walk as fast as a T-Rex. Not faster than a Giga, but faster than a T-Rex. If a T-Rex tries to chase me down by running me down, that thing's going to be out of stam. And it has to sit back down to regain it. But which is why a Giga is basically the worst thing to get caught out with. Oh, shoot. I have a feeling they fought. Okay. Hopefully the sub -rex kills him. Because a gig is the last thing I need. And I'm thirsty. Yay. Yay. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect conditions. And I can't sniff either. Oh. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Okay. Okay. I've been blessed by the gods. I've been blessed by D-God. This is crazy. I just walked into water. I walked into a pond. That's crazy. Let's just hope nothing's following me. Hopefully that sub -rex handled the Giga. Realistically, no. Hopefully, I don't know, maybe. But I swear, the Giga's just gonna be in those trees and the moment I stop drinking, He's, he's gonna pop out and destroy me. I'm so nervous of like a T-Rex just running out of the trees or something. Cause it happens. It happens. There's some patient people out there that have the time and effort to wait for something to walk in front of them. Even though it's only like 50 people on the server. Out of those 50 people, there's at least like three that have the patience to wait in a bush for something to pass by them. I mean, right now we're good. Right now we're good because we have water. If anything, I'll walk into more water by luck, by chance. And bushes are not really a problem because every now and then there's going to be a bush. The only thing that could really be bad is if I break my leg or if I get caught by an apex. Anything lower than an apex I can handle. Like Sukos, not a problem. Aloes, aloes don't even exist for me. Serratos, say less. And Carnos wouldn't even dare to go up against a fairy. I just hope I can find another herbivore that I'm faster then because if I find like a dibble or something then I'm good because the last time I checked a dibble would probably give the same amount of meat as I would um I'm not too sure about this mountain top though oh don't break my leg please please don't break your leg fairy I beg you do not break your leg I'm gonna just keep walking you know, I don't got a care in the world. I'm gonna just keep on walking. Come on, let's just keep on going. What the heck are these shadows? Bro, these shadows suck. Well, I mean, not not, not these shadows, because this game is beautiful, but those, I'm talking about those. My goodness, bro, that Giga really caught me off guard. I thought, I thought I was dead. I thought he was gonna run up to me and kill me. Thank goodness he wasn't in the trees. He was walking down by the river too. 
because if he was in the trees and he was walking in the tree line, I I would have been cooked. I would have kept on walking, right? And then I would have I would have like passed by him, and then he would have just ambushed me. A theory cannot outrun a Giga in ambush. Oh my, it's night. Oh gosh, the realization just hit me. It's night. Why am I doing this? Why am I, bro? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I should just sit in the tree and log out for the night, but no. I need, f <clears throat> I need food, and the chances of me walking by it have been reduced. You know, this game, I feel like the one thing this game does better than the other games is its atmosphere. Like Path of Titans, I have never played it. Looks good. But Beast of Bermuda, I don't, I don't really. Let's not even talk about that. Let's talk about the debate between the Isle and Path of Titans. Beast of Bermuda is more like a. It's more like a third option. It's like the middle child of the two. Like, uh, the Isle is the big brother, and then Be pa Path of Titans is the younger brother. Nobody really cares about the middle child. Um. I have never played Path of Titans, so my opinion, of course, is in, it's not going to be right. But I personally like the idol. This game's fun. It's a survival game. You're a giant dinosaur. Well, everyone loves that, right? And the one problem I have with Path of Titans is, is the amount of, like, HUD, I think it's called. Like, H-U-D. Like the amount of um, digital things on your screen. Like you have a map in the top left corner, I think. You have a bunch of quests. You have your HP bar, your stamina bar. And I feel like the Isle does a really good job of hiding these things. Like stamina, the stamina bar only pops up when you're running. Hunger and thirst only pop up when you need them. And the only thing on the screen is that little email thing in the bottom right corner. Uh, no way, bottom left corner, I think. Yeah, that's why I like this game so much better. Just because I feel like, in order for it to really feel like survival, it has to be, it has to be like, mm, like you're, you're like a dinosaur, right? A dinosaur isn't going to know what a map is. It's not going to know what quests are. Know what I mean? Like, in this game, you really just go off of your instincts. You try to make, um, allies. And you, well, if you need to eat something, you gotta eat, right? And I feel like Path of Titans is too caring. Now, of course, when I die in this game after, like, playing for six hours, I'm gonna be mad. But, I feel like that's almost what makes this game good. The amount of, like, punishing, like... How punishing it is because in Path of Titans f based on my knowledge if you die you get like a checkpoint like you you can spawn back at 25% growth I think it works something like that I don't know though but yeah in this game once you die you die there is no coming back you have to restart and that gives becoming an adult such a bigger sense of accomplishment because, like, I've, I've, in all my, what, like, in all my 600 hours of playing this game, I've never been able to grow a fully grown Rex. And if I were to grow one, I'd be really happy with myself. Because, one, I've never been able to do it. And, two, you know, it's like, you only get that, you only get to do that a couple of times unless you're, like, a pro pro. Now, of course, I don't know much about Path of Titans, so this could be completely wrong. I've heard that there is like some things you could do, like there's um natural growth servers, like you where you don't have to do quests and you grow like you do in this game, which is another thing I don't like about Path of Titans. You have to do quests to grow. In reality, you wouldn't be doing quests and you wouldn't just become like bigger. Now I will say this game does have a lot of flaws, mainly the combat system. <coughs> Like, the whole point of combat, I mean, not the whole point, like, the whole combat system in this game is just trying to get behind your opponent and bite until they die, which is not, <laughs> it's not fulfilling. There's no, like, engagement. 
Not like there's strategies, of course. But if something were to get behind me, like a Utah, I wouldn't be able to do anything about it. But I don't have a tail move. I don't have. I, I can't break check him because he's better than me. Did I just walk in a giant circle? Nah, womp womp. Whatever. I can't break check him or anything. He's just gonna stay behind me until I die. Path of Titans. There's multiple moves. You got like a bite move, a scratch move, uh, a tail whip move. I do like that. That is good. 10 out of 10. Maybe not 10 out of 10, but like definitely better than the Iowa's combat system. But I feel like Evrima is kind of changing that. Now, I don't play Evrima because I don't want my computer to explode. But for the little bit, for like the little time that I did play Evrima, Yes, they have been getting a better combat system. Like, Tenontosaurus has a tail whip move, a bite move, a hand claw move. And there's no more concept of just tail riding. Uh, it's basically impossible to do in Nivrama just because, like, the new movement and locomotion system. Like, if you stop, you could turn, like, 180 degrees. In this game, in order to turn around, you have to do a full circle, which definitely is not good. So yeah, I feel like Path of Titans is better in some ways, but whenever I think of a dinosaur survival game, I really, like, I don't think of doing quests. I think of just trying to grow, trying to survive, trying to make friends and allies to not get eaten alive. And yeah, I don't really be thinking of quests and, oh, go over here and collect 15 of these things. Now, if I if I did play Path of Titans, I'd probably like it. I have really low standards for games. But like one more thing, and I know this is really controversial, but I don't like the graphics on Path of Titans. The graphics look insanely weird to me. Like when compared to the aisle. I don't know. I don't know. The graphics are weird. Maybe it's just the models of the dinosaurs. Speaking of the models. Whenever you run in that game, it looks like the dinosaurs put in no effort into running. It looks like they're just lifting their legs and going forward. In this game, the running animations have so much like... The dinosaurs put in so much strength into running, you can see it. You can notice it. In Path of Titans, as far as I can tell, it don't really look like that. It's a different story. But yeah, that is my take on the whole debate of Path of Titans versus the Isle. I will personally like the aisle until my opinions changed. I just like it better. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> oh my! I've been talking so much that one, the fear of getting eaten alive has gone away, and two, uh, I don't know where I'm going. You know what? All right, this might be a really bad idea. But I am going to broadcast. Now, there are two things that could happen. One, absolutely nothing. Two, I get massacred in the next two seconds. Uh, not two seconds, my bad. Two minutes or something like that. Five hours later. Uh, you know what? Frick it. it we're not, it, I've been recording for an hour. It, day is like around the corner, but I don't want to wait. So, you know what? I'm going to leave the video off here. If you like the video, uh, like, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.